back. My next guest has appeared in numerous films, including The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Queen of the Damned. We'll be getting next Friday. You can see him in Head in the Clouds. Please welcome Stuart Townsend. Now, uh, I'm curious about a few things. First of all, I've been, I know you're from Dublin. I am. Or, or do you call it Dublin or Dublin? Uh, Dublin, actually. Okay, because I've heard some was people that go sort of in between Dublin and. I've Dublin. heard some people go, hey, you like Dublin. Yeah, that was, or, or that, Dublin. That was a pirate, actually, what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's how a lot of Irish people end up sounding like, <laughs> So, Dublin, and you came from a rough part of Dublin. Well, it was the north side of Dublin, so that was fairly rough. Yeah. So, how did you did you get into acting? Is that was that accepted by your like your friends, your mates? Did they accept um, that? No, it yeah. wasn't. You had to kind of go. Uh, you know, people say, "What do you what do you do?" And you'd say, uh, "I'm a, <clears throat> I'm an actor." Right, right. Because it wasn't considered. You know, it was sort of my friends called me Julia, as in Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bleeding Julia? What? You know? Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, what kind? What acting school did you go to? The Gaiety School of Acting. The Gaiety. Oh, that must have gone over well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had, uh, <laughs> our favorite chat show host was Gay Byrne, and I went to the Gaiety School of Acting, and I don't right. know, there's something in that. You know? So you learn to fight young and, and fast. Yeah. You, you know, when, when, I've, when I was in Dublin, I know it's a cliche, but there are all these amazing pubs, and I was uh -huh. curious, like, what's your favorite? Is, do you have a favorite pub in, in Dublin? Um, Actually, my favorite pubs are down in the, in the countryside. Oh, not, not in the city, they're in the countryside. No, they have this weird thing in, in Dublin now where they take a, a beautiful old pub full of character and they'll gut the whole thing and then they'll put in this old fake furniture. Right. So they like, it, it looks like an old pub now, but it's actually new. Right. And all the characters gone, all the nicotine stained walls. Right, yeah. right. The stuff that re really made it feel like yeah. this is authentic. So I prefer going to the old pubs where they're, you know, half of it's a pub, the other half is a living room, the other half is a, is a sort of a, you know, hardware store. <laughs> it really, a half pub, half hardware store. That is, sounds yeah, fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a couple of drinks and then <laughs> fall asleep on the couch. Yeah. 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 And then By buy the a part. chainsaw. That's a really, <laughs> that's a very bad combination. It is. Yeah. Now yeah. you just finished a movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, and uh, yeah. and and I, uh, you know, he's been here on the show, and it very, I, I saw it seemed like a very nice guy. How did yeah. how did you find him to be? I was a bit, you know, I mean, he's, he's Rocky, he's Sylvester Stallone, so I was, uh, I was wondering what he was going to be like, and I, he was an amazing guy, you know. Yeah. I did one uh, kind of, uh, one moment with him where um, I was off camera, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm giving lines to him, and he kind of looks at me and he goes, you don't need to be here. And I was like, okay, but I don't mind being here for you, you know, and he's like, I wouldn't do it for you. <laughs> okay. But then, right. then the next night, one o'clock in the morning, He's feeding me off camera lines. And I was like, you don't need to be here. And he was like, no, I'll be here. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. He's a good guy. You taught him. You taught him. All right. I did. Um, now, you've been, and I don't, I don't like to pry, but this is, you've been dating Charlize Theron for, for a while now. How long for you a guys, while, yeah. How, how many, has it been a few years, hasn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so many uh, okay. um, the guys yeah. aren't happy. The girls uh, think it's sweet. The guys are like, no! Uh, yeah, it's been a few years. Now, are you getting pressure when it's been a couple of years? You, you, it, it's inevitable for everybody. Do you get pressure, you it's, guys, to get married? Uh, it, it's amazing. Every six months, there's a rumor we're getting married. Uh, you know, I have, I have uh, Dublin cake companies phoning me up saying, we'd love, to, we'd love to bake the cake. Right. And Keanu Reeves is my best man, and we're getting married in Hawaii. She's, got, she's, got, she's pregnant. So. Right. You read all this stuff in the tabloids. Amazing, and, yeah, right. Yeah, and, so, and, and, and Well, also, because there'd be... It would be so great for the tabloids that they well, wanted they to happen. Yeah. Whether you guys are ready or not, they're like, we're ready for you two to get married Absolutely. so that we can fly overhead in a helicopter and ruin it. And then you can get divorced and we can really get you, you know? So, yeah, You're cynical like about these people. Ah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> wonder why. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about this movie, Head in the Clouds. Head in the Clouds, yeah. The, the idea here, and I'm uh, vastly oversimplifying this, but, but part of the movie involves, this is a love triangle mm -hmm. with you, Charlize Theron, and Penelope Cruz. That is good work it if was, you can get it, I would yeah. think. <laughs> Congratulations. It was a tough job, but someone tough has to job. do it. Yeah, yeah. Was that or digging a ditch? And you're like, I'll do it. Yeah, exactly. uh, what, uh, tell us about the movie. It's, um, it's a love story set in Paris in the 1930s with the Spanish Civil War mm -hmm. and World War II as a sort of a backdrop. Right. And it's a very beautiful story, but there's a, there's a lot going on. It's a very complex love story. Right. And it involves three characters, um, two beautiful ladies. 
And it's just, it's a very, uh, it was one of the best scripts I'd ever read, one of the best stories. Right. And um, we had a really good time, you know. And that making, must be nice, because so. there's a lot of times where, I, in this business, I know actors commit to a script, and, mm -hmm. and, and the script is terrible, and they just have to say, you know what, they'll figure this yeah. out later on, the once we get will shooting. Do it and, yeah, there'll be some magic, and it doesn't happen. Yeah. Right, right. Well, the movie's uh, Head in the Clouds opens next mm -hmm. Friday in Select Cities. Stuart, thanks so much for coming thanks, by. Man. Yeah, good luck to you. Yeah. Stuart Townsend, everybody. Scissor Sisters, coming up and take a break. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. Fine show tonight. Stay tuned next week. we got some great guests coming up, including Drew Barrymore going to be joining us, Donald Trump, Megan Mullally, Paul Bettany, Gwyneth Paltrow, much, much more. So watch. <laughs> Take a break. When we come back, Scissor Sisters going to perform. Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Why? Why? With Conan O'Brien, TV to keep you up. <laughs> back. That's our show. Do you want to thank my guest, Paris Hilton? Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Uh, big thanks to Stuart Townsend for stopping by. Sisters. I like Scissor Sisters. They put on a show, and of course, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Take your last call with Carson Daly. Have a good weekend. Bye. Strip ourselves naked and all each other as the ancient Romans did, armed only with flamethrowers. I will scorch the flesh from your body and build an outhouse for my field hands with your charred, treasonous bones. All right, now wait a minute. This is absurd. There's going to be no flamethrowers and no fighting. Then you leave me no choice but to play you in a game of hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> we shall draw the hippos and my orange hippo, for I am always orange, <laughs> will ravenously devour all the marbles in your Hasbro hippo pit. <laughs> While your sorry blue hippo snaps impotently at the vacant air. Okay, sir. <laughs> we need that new sir, sir, that game is for little children. How 